So I'm here today with Ms. Richards and we're going to talk about um, how she uses the video camera to supplement her lessons and some of the stuff she does with the history books. So I start off my presentations, um, I always have PowerPoints with pictures and videos embedded. So I make sure that I'm kind of in the frame but not over it because um, the video camera is usually right over there. And to make sure that the lights are a little bit dim um, so you can pick up on this but not too dim so the video camera can still pick up on me. Um, you really don't have to talk super loud, you can just use your regular voice and it picks up very clearly. So the first thing I do is I turn off the first light so that's dark enough, but not too dark so you can, they can still see me. It has like a tripod that you can set up anywhere, which is really nice. And it also has a USB drive that pops right out that goes right into your laptop. And you can just drag it right out for files. Um, and I just set it up here and I click record. And usually a red light will go on, and the students are really good at letting me know if it dies or something doesn't work. Um, and then I come up here, and I'll, I'll give my lecture, whether it's 25 minutes or 30 minutes on whatever the topic is um, today. And then I hit stop on the record, and it's really easy. Um, there is a USB drive that you plug right into your laptop, um, and it brings up the file right off there. And sometimes these are a little too big to go on the internet. So when this happens, there's a program called Handbrake that I just convert it real quick and then I can put it on a website. So here's my Google website for all my classes and then here's my sociology website. And I have um, embedded a blog site on here and I put in the PowerPoints as well as videos with it. So there'll be a video like right here that the kids can hit play. This is automaticity, okay? This is part one. We're going to do the thin slices research. This is brand new stuff that they just found 10 years ago about human behavior. So this is cutting edge when it comes to science. I doubt you'd ever learn this in any other class. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. As it's playing, the um, students can go along with the PowerPoint and read it as I'm talking about it, and they can do this right from their home. How have you found the kids, have they found this useful or how do you think they feel about this? Uh, they love it. Um, I have a lot of students that, especially their senior year, they miss a lot of days or they have um, field trips. So they can do this right at home and watch it. Uh, it's easy for me too as a teacher because you don't get the excuses why I wasn't there in class because they can easily just watch it in, in about 20 minutes. And um, I have it on iPod settings so the kids can watch it right on their iPod or iTouch, whatever they have. So, um, so the website that I go is blogger.com. And it's really easy. Um, this is the main page, and all you do is put in new post, and you can attach a video. And usually it's a video right on your desktop, and you just attach it, hit agree, and then hit upload. It usually takes about 20 minutes, depending on how big the file is. Um, then you hit save, and it's right on your blog. So this is what my blog looks like right here. And I have it all the way back to September. Um, and you can put in other things too, like the PowerPoints I can post in there and uh, everything else. So what would you say about to some of the issues that might come up with using this method? Um, some people might say you can't have kids on the computer, but as you see, it's just me. Um, and the kids are actually a lot quieter uh, when this is on because they know it's being recorded. So they're very good. Um, and I'm very careful that it's just me on there. And you might hear some of the voices, but it doesn't really tell you who. Um, and some people might say that this is too hard, but really it took me, once I was shown it once, I wrote down the steps, and then I did it every single day for that entire semester, and it got to be routine, and now I never have to do it again. It's always on there, and I never have to worry about it again, and I can use it year after year after year. So, so the kids like it, and you find it useful. Um, you think it's worthwhile educationally? Absolutely. Um, not only can kids like re-teach themselves something that they have done, but it also gets parents involved because the parents can be right in the classroom and see um, what is talked about and have conversations with their kids. Um, and I think it's great too because um, you're posting this out there for anyone who's really interested in that kind of topic and get lots of kids interested in maybe an elective that is only open to 20 kids. It can easily be um, applicable sorry, to um, kids that want to take an independent study or take an online class. So.